All right, time for lunch. Let's get over to the kitchen and say hello to uh, Culinary Director Judy Gallagher and find out what she's preparing today. Hi, Judy. Hi there, Scott. A simple trip to Yoder's Produce is all I needed for today's ingredients. I found the patty pan squash, baby eggplants, and shishitsu peppers. Now remember, one in 10 shishitsu peppers are a bit hot. They're a Thai pepper and they're almost always mild. My guess is John Scalzi may hit the hot one. But I'm gonna roast up some simple fresh vegetables and baby eggplant in the oven at 400 degrees, get that started. And when we come back, we'll be toasting up fennel seeds and making a really creamy fresh pasta. I think you'll really enjoy for the hot weather. Well, thanks, Scott. So I have the first of the vegetables roasting. Baby eggplant, the peppers. We have the shishito peppers. Hopefully there aren't more than one or two spicy ones in there. Now we're gonna start the base of the pasta dish. So I just cooked up some parpadel pasta. Here's a cheat. If you wanna do one-stop shopping and you can't find the pasta that you want, go with something that's similar, wide egg noodles. They may not be as long, but they're really gonna work just as well. So that's a thought as well. So I have a little olive oil, about a tablespoon of good quality olive oil, and I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of fennel seeds. I'm gonna let that pop a little bit. This is a great tip if you're making bruschetta at home. So you can dice the tomatoes and maybe a little red onion to pop it, put it on the crostini, but the big thing is to have the toasted fennel seed. It really does make it pop. So now that it's in, we're going to season the bottom of the pan with some salt because this is all going to blend in and pepper. And of course, we'll go back and readjust the seasoning several times. Just as we start to see the fennel is going to start popping in that oil, so it's infusing that oil. I'm going to add just a teeny bit more oil to really get that infusion going. Now we're going to add garlic, but I don't want the garlic to, to cook too much. So what I'm going to do is I have about one or two cloves of garlic in there. Probably two knowing me because I just love garlic. Let's take a peek at the oven, see how the vegetables are roasting because you don't need to do them all the way through. A great tip is if you're having kebabs this weekend or for the July 4th holiday, you can save some of the leftover vegetables. So the peppers are really roasting nicely. The eggplant, I what I did was I put salt on the eggplant, even the baby eggplant, for about 10 minutes just to make that a little more tender. It'll draw out some moisture. So now we've got this started. Now we're going to go with our next layers. So I have some red chard. Mmm, it kind of looks like rhubarb. And we're gonna just put some shallots in there. Let that start to cook, and when I come back, I'm gonna add the pasta, some more seasoning, and then let's add a little cheese and cream to this baby, okay? Hey there, so I put the tomatoes, those delicious organic varietal tomatoes in the oven just for about two minutes, little olive oil, little salt and pepper. Now let's get back to the pan. We have the peppers have married in there and the Swiss chard. It's really going to be a burst of flavor. I'm going to take a little chicken stock just to keep it some moisture and we can use less cream then. And then I'm going to add about a half a cup of half and half. Now obviously you can use heavy cream um, that's going to make it a nice dense rich sauce but I had half and half in the house, so that's what I'm gonna use. So similar in an Alfredo in that we have a little butter, a little cream, and yes, we're gonna have Parmesan. So let's do some Parmesan here, and then let's add the cooked pasta, right like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna simmer this just for about three minutes because the pasta is cooked al dente, so you want it to absorb that little bit of broth and the cream. Do a little more pasta. Now, this is a great time to add the spinach because you just want to use spinach very liberally. Spinach is going to absorb the seasoning, so be a little careful with that. Let's take the tomatoes out. They're just starting to warm up, so when they hit the pan, they'll probably burst. And don't be afraid to experiment with your seasoning. 
even though this particular seasoning says coastal blend, I find it delicious for pasta so you don't have to just use it for seafood. So here we go. It is coming out beautiful. I'm going to give it another hit of some black pepper and some salt. When I bring it to the bowl, I'm going to add some broken up fresh mint leaves, a little more Parmesan on top. So we can say we had our vegetables and we ate them too. We'll be back for a taste in just a few minutes. <laughs> Always bad. Mm. I have decided I was at Whole Foods this morning and mm. I ran into some wonderful men that were saying how they love our relationship on TV. Yep. And they think it's really fun when you get caught with a mouthful of food. As, as happens most back. every day, it just seems. Just saying, folks. I I'm just know. saying. I know. You this eat, is delicious. Thank you. You eat. I'll remind you, you can get this recipe on mysuncoast.com. Mm -hmm. Go on the dining page and enter a contest to win a $50 gift certificate. And while John finishes his spring pasta, <laughs> I send it over to you, Scott. <laughs> <All right. laughs>